Welcome back to Alan Ryan. Today I'm excited to share with you how to set up an ENS domain and connect it to your Ethereum wallet. Similar to a web domain that has a collection of words that redirect to a website like google.com, you can also set a name to redirect to your Ethereum wallet. This makes it so much easier to remember your Ethereum wallet address and much more professional when you're sharing it with someone else for business purposes or any purposes whatsoever. And it can be hard to secure your web domain or your Gmail address, but right now it's still relatively easy to secure your ENS domain. So you should do it right away before your name or your brand gets taken. So just follow along and I'll show you how easy it is. I'm gonna reserve two ENS domains today. So I'll type in ENS server. And here's ENS domains. Go ahead and click on that one. I already have it up here. I'll put it in the description below. You should see a lock here. From here, we need to actually connect our MetaMask from their home site. You're going to need to select go to app. From there, the website should be app.ens.domains. Now you can start searching for the domain you're interested in. It's also going to ask you to connect to your MetaMask wallet. If you don't have a MetaMask wallet, go ahead and click on the link above. Here you can see I'm already connected to the MetaMask wallet of interest. I'm gonna look for my name, Alan Ryan, search. And you'll see there it is, green and available. So I'm gonna click on that. That's the ENS server I'm interested in. And here's the first step. So it asks you, how long do you want to reserve this domain for? I think if you do one year, the price isn't much different. So if you go to more years, you're actually going to avoid the gas fees later on. And as we go up, we see that the fee only increases by like 0.001. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for five years. Request to register. This should charge me a gas fee now. And the estimated gas fee is $13, confirm. So the first step will take a little bit of time for that transaction to go through. Okay, so the first step completed and the wait for one minute period also completed. So now I can complete my registration. So I'll click register and it's going to cost me a big gas fee this time. Uh, of course, you know, always check the gas tracker to keep track of what the gas fees currently are. It looks like the gas fees are a little high. So I think I'm going to actually reject this, wait a little bit of time until the gas fees come down. And I highly recommend you do the same. If you have high gas fees, wait until these gas fees are about below 90 GUE before you make a transaction. Otherwise you'll get crushed on the gas fees. Gas price is still not below 90 GUE, but I'm getting a little impatient. So I'm gonna go ahead and register. I don't recommend you pay a high gas fee, but I want to get this video going. Okay, so here's my gas fee. It's still pretty high, but I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, so now you'll see that the transaction just went through. So now I'm gonna go set as primary ENS name and it says primary ENS not set. I'm gonna select one of my ENS names, the one I just registered, alanryan.eth, and save. And then they're gonna hit me with another small gas fee. <laughs> Make sure you have enough money in your wallet. And that transaction confirmed as well. So now you'll see primary ENS name, reverse record, Alan Ryan. So reverse record means it goes back and identifies your primary address. So remember, you have letters and numbers that comprise your address. The reverse lookup allows you to use your name or your brand to reverse lookup back to your address, and that's how you can refer to yourself. And of course, right after I do that, the gas fee drops. Okay, so now we wanna to test to make sure that that address is connected to our wallet. So there is the Ethereum name lookup. I will also drop that in the description below. We want to look for alanryan.eth and make sure that this is connected to my address. And we search and there it is, connected to the controller registrant and here's the expiration date for five years that I set. And now I can refer to my address as alanryan.eth, which is way easier to remember than this long letters and numbers address. Okay, so I'll go ahead and say register. And here's where I should get hit with the, oh, this the gas fees went down. Thank goodness. So you can see there's a big difference in those gas fees. I'll hit confirm. Okay, and that transaction confirmed as well. So now I'll set as primary ENS name and select my infinitydreams.eth, save. Okay, pay another gas fee, confirm. And that transaction confirmed as well. So let's confirm that it is there in the name service lookup, infinitydreams.eth. 
All right, that resolves correctly. Perfect, so that one's also set up. And then you can go to your Twitter profile and edit and update your bio with your new ENS server name. So that was a quick tutorial of how to set up your ENS server. I hope it was easy to follow along. Drop down in the comments below if you have any questions. Please like my video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.